Hey Trios Kids, I'm so happy that you're here. We're gonna have such a great time together. And when I ask you, who loves you? I want you to say, Jesus loves me. All right, you ready? Who loves you? That's right, Jesus loves you. And Jesus doesn't just love you a little bit, he loves you a whole lot of it. Well, let's th sing this to Jesus. Are you ready to worship today? Come on, stand up, let's dance, and let's sing together. His love will never quit. His love will never run away. Even when I get upset. His love is still forgiving me. And it's all because, all because, His love isn't just a little bit. He loves me a whole lot. to work. <coughs> this is taking so long and I've been working so hard. I don't know if I can do this by myself. What am I gonna do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Digging a moat, are you? Hi, Ollie. Well, I'm trying to. It's been taking so long, and I've been working so hard, and I'm feeling kind of frustrated, Ollie. I'm sorry you're feeling so blue, but I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. There you 
go, you got it. Oh, hi, friends. Stormy and her friend Goldie are playing ball. For a while, Goldie was trying to hold the ball on her nose by herself, and it was hard. But then Stormy came to help, and now they're playing. <laughs> Isn't that what good friends do? They help each other. Which reminds me of a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with Jesus walking into a city to do some important work when a centurion came up to him. Wow, look at that cool armor he's wearing. Centurions were leaders in the army. They were big and important, but this centurion believed that Jesus was even more important and he needed Jesus' help. Jesus, he said, my servant is at home and he is very, very sick. Please, I need your help to make him better. Now remember, Jesus was busy. He was on his way to do important work. But do you think that stopped him from helping the centurion? <laughs> no way. Jesus said, do you want me to come to your house and make him better? But the centurion said, Jesus, you are way too special to come to my house. I know you can just say it and he will get better. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Jesus told the centurion to go home and the servant would be all better. And he was. Wow, Jesus is such a good friend. Jesus heard someone needed his help and he helped them. Jesus loved the centurion and his servant just like he loves you. That's why Jesus wants to be your friend forever because he loves you very much. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus helped the centurion, and he can help all of us too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that was such a great story. Jesus helped the centurion when he needed him, and Jesus can help all of us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. You know what? I'm gonna pray and ask Jesus if he can keep helping me to keep working hard and finish this moat. And I may ask a few friends to help me too. I'll see you next time. Bye. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. We really did learn so much today. We learned that Jesus loves the centurion and his servant, just like he loves you. That's why Jesus wants to be your friend forever, because he loves you very, very much. Now, who loves you? Yeah, Jesus does. He loves you and he wants to help you. Okay, why don't we just close our eyes together and let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all my friends and that you love them so very, very much. Even when we need help, you're right there to help us and assist us. You're always by our side. We love you, Jesus, so much. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thanks for joining us this week at Treehouse Kids. We'll see you next week.